Good morning, guys. I'm just getting up and getting my... Sorry, my hair looks awful. I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, I'm just getting all my stuff together, which, I mean, it's pretty much together. Um, my mom is dropping off the, um, like, trap that we've been using to uh, capture the, um, like, the stray cats in the area. Um, she's returning it uh, to the animal shelter, and then she's going to come and get me, and then I'll be home until Thursday. I have a psychiatrist appointment on Thursday, so that'll be interesting. Um, my neurologist office called and left a message, and I had asked what pain medication he'd be comfortable with me being on. Um, being that I, I am, like... I guess at a risk for like reoccurring seizures and stuff and the office just said to not be on the medication that I was on so that doesn't really make sense at all but I don't know I see pain management a week from today so I don't know we'll see but I'm a, like I don't know his office is weird honestly he's a great doctor he's amazing but um, the people that work in his office are a little strange. Like, the way they handle things is a little bit weird. Um, so I'll just call again sometime this week. But it was, that was weird. And then I need to call my home health company because I don't have any fluids and I need that. Oh, man. At least I was able to sleep in. I didn't go to sleep until, like, 4. And then was up at 7 because Adrian was leaving for work. So, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um fix my fix my hair and get ready to go home hey guys so I'm home um, me and my mom went to Whole Foods um, we went to Whole Foods after she got me um, I've been drinking a liter of coconut water every day and it's greatly improved my pot symptoms I was having issue <coughs> issues um, like, while drinking water and while doing a liter of lactated ringers, I was still having a lot of episodes where pretty much every time I was standing up, even if it was just from sitting, I was blacking out really, like, briefly, thankfully, but, like, still, I was blacking out every time I was getting up. There was, like, no way around it, and I was getting so out of breath from going up the stairs. Um, so, I've been drinking coconut water. Um, there's two brands that I've been using um, that I've read only good things about because a majority of these companies actually that sell coconut water um, add things or add sugar and um, you know like add not natural stuff and it kind of defeats the purpose of having a like healthier drink um, especially at least in my opinion in my like situation I'd rather just something be like 100% natural and so for this it's literally um, just 100% coconut water, and then it has, um, on it says vegan, fat-free, low sodium, no sugar added, and it has um, a really, really good source of five um, natural electrolytes, and yeah, I've been drinking a liter of it every day. So the Whole Foods brand and Foco, um, those are the two that I've drank, and both of them are pretty good. I like the taste of the Whole Foods one a little bit better. Um, I know, like, Harmless coconut water is supposed to be really good, but it's a lot more expensive, so I haven't drank that before. Um, I think I mentioned this. I got oatmeal. I'm going to see if my stomach can handle that. I'm trying out some snacks to see if it works. We'll see. I don't know. And um, my home health company is dropping off my shipment tonight. I apparently wasn't on the schedule for a shipment this week, which is, I don't understand why. But, um, I don't have any tubing left, so I had to call and say, like, you know, I don't have tubing. And I think I'm supposed to get my shipment tomorrow, um, so can I just have everything tonight? And they're, like, so accommodating, so they're going to bring everything, like, before, like, 10 o'clock tonight, which is perfectly fine. Um, so, that's what's up with that. Um, so I'm going to be getting that stuff tonight. My mom actually... Uh, flipped over this couch and I think she might want to do this one too. I'm going to help her with it. Um, I think we're pulling like the bottom out, like the um, all the staples. She went and uh, is with my grandma actually. Um, I'm just kind of 
settling into being back. Um, I'll be going back to Adrian's on Thursday. And, oh, I found Rosie. Hey, Rosie. Yeah? Hi. Hi, Rosie. Aww. Hi. Oh, how sweet. She still suckles. Rosie, you're an adult now. <laughs> um, anyway. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, and I'll just be here until Thursday. My sister went to um, University of Delaware where her boyfriend goes um, to spend the night with him. And um, yeah, that's about it. So I, um, I will talk to you guys soon. Look who came to see Rosie. One of her friends. She's so cute. Someone's happy. You guys, they're both here. Aww. Both of the friends are here. Aww. Okay, so apparently now I'm um, cooking for everybody in my life. I mean, it gives me something to do, so it's okay. Um, since I'm not like doing much else but I guess I'm making um it's like <sighs> I only cut the onions it's like onions and tomatoes but it's like canned tomatoes and chicken like roasted it's something we have pretty often honestly so guess who got stuck making it me <laughs> it's okay I don't mind so chicken water and onions are going in for a half hour and I put salt and pepper on it Alright, so half hour in, um, I'm just going to flip everything and throw it back in for another half an hour. Okay, so the chicken is completely browned and everything. I'm just waiting for my mom to text me back because I don't know if I throw this in and then put it back in the, the stove or not or what's up with that. So, Also, fun fact about me, I have a really severe fear of stoves. No, not stoves, ovens. I always get that confused. These are the only gloves I wear. I can't do the, I can't do like the, the one that your hands aren't in. I'm so afraid. Like these, I can't do them. I'm so afraid of, of um, burning myself. Like such a severe fear of, of, um, of ovens. Oops. So thank God I got my shipment. Um, and it's actually two weeks. So that means it's something I don't have to worry about for next week. Thank God. And I am going to just be doing a coconut oil and coffee face mask. It is 45 minutes long. Um, I would like to deep clean my face because I feel like I haven't in a while. And I have to put all this stuff away. <laughs> this is what she does every night. Rosie! Rosie! <coughs> okay, so I'm going to do a um, just um, face mask tonight. Uh, it is um, 45 minutes. It's just coconut oil and coffee grounds. That's how you say it. And um, yeah, I thought maybe I had to wash my face beforehand, but now that I'm thinking about it, that doesn't make sense. So instead, I'm going to, like, clean off, like, wet my face and then put it on. And then I have to keep it on for 45 minutes, so I thought I'd show you guys. I actually did this on my arm, where my pick, my second pick was getting placed, um, to kind of exfoliate it the night before. You know, I can't touch that for God knows how long, but anyway, so I've l I've done this before, but I did it on my, my body and not my face. So, let's see how this goes. Okay. I'm going to 
also going to do is put my hair up a little tighter. Just so it's not like falling out. Now if you, if anybody's going to be making this, um, you really use like the smallest amount of coconut oil and coffee. I use way too much and I barely use anything. So. Just a heads up guys. Okay, I think we're good. I don't, I don't know. Okay, my issue right now is that I feel the coconut oil like falling off, like going into my lips. So, I don't really know. I don't know how this is gonna last. Cause I feel it like dripping. Um, I made a little to-do list on things that I want to do tomorrow. Um, I want to really kind of binge read some stuff so I can alter my diet a little bit more. Um, you know, I just want to be doing, like, the best I can. Even though I'm not able to eat that much, I want to make whatever I can eat, like, worth it. So, I have to do that. Um... And there's a blog specifically that I trust greatly um, because the the girl that has it has pretty severe Crohn's disease and very 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 severe IBS where she actually almost died from it um, so I want to binge her blog um, and write down notes and um, I want to come up with a good hair care routine because I am only washing my hair like five every five days I know that's gross. Um, the other day, actually, it was the day before I was I washed my hair again. Adrian like had his head near me. He was like, "Oh, your hair smells good." I was like, "Well, great," because I haven't washed it since you washed it last week. Um, which is really sweet. He will sometimes like actually wash my hair for me, um, so I can do a bath to clean my body off and have somebody do my hair. Um, like, yeah. So I do everything separately, so... But I want to do something with oils and, like, maybe do some sort of a mask, like, before I wash it. Because he does that, and I want to figure out if maybe I can do something that will keep my hair um, healthy. And I know it's good to keep, or to not shampoo and condition very often, I guess, because of the chemicals and stuff. I don't know, I don't know. I want to do research, I want to learn more about these things. Um, I gotta figure this stuff out, guys. Fun stuff, though. But I'm gonna just sit on YouTube for a little while, and I'll check in with you guys again in a little bit. Hey guys, it's like 2.15ish, I think. Um, and I'm gonna head to sleep. Um, me and my mom, I think, are gonna do the couch tomorrow. I think that's pretty much it, I think so. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching.